hello guys welcome to today's video so we'll be fixing today how to fix a black screen with cursor in windows 10 okay so there are numerous solutions to this problem but we will see one by one solutions that first solution is update your driver so how to update your driver just uh, you have to click uh, right click on uh, here windows icon and just click on device manager here so you will find here the device manager i will right click uh, on device manager uh, sorry uh, right click on device manager and uh, it will open this interface okay after opening this uh, interface uh, you can see here the display adapter option so i will simply click on the display adapter option here i will simply click on the display adapter option it will expand this like and what i will choose is i will uh, choose uh, intel hd drive and i will click on update driver okay so it will open this uh, dialog and i will uh, just uh, click on search automatically for drivers okay then what we have to do is it's showing that the base drivers for your device are already installed so my uh, drivers are already installed so i will keep it as it is and close this window so we will see the second solution that use windows key plus p shortcut to switch displays okay so what we will do is we will uh, click uh, enter that is windows plus p okay so it will show like this that is you can see here the switch displays so what we have to do is project menu will now open but now you won't able to see it okay so don't worry that's perfectly normal you can see here or now uh, press up down arrow key you can see here i can and press enter okay if you are successful your screen should appear okay so that's the okay uh, that's the solution so third is uninstall your graphic card driver so what we have to do is we have to uh, uh, run a new task okay press file and select run a new task how to do that i will click uh, function r it will open my run dialog okay windows plus r so what we have to do here is uh, or create a new task that is a uh, what i will do uh, is i will uh, create that is dev m g m t dot m s c and i will press enter so it will open our device manager again so what we have to do is we have to uh, go in the uh, confirm device install okay device manager so you can see here the uh, numerous options okay so what we have to do is uh, we have to go to here network adapters not uh, we have to go here disk dri drivers i will double click on this and you can go to here properties you can go to here drivers and you can update your drivers so many okay so it will it uh, it's showing that the base drivers for the, your device is already installed so i will close it okay so next solution is disable onboard graphics from device manager okay so how to disable that graphics from device manager okay locate your onboard graphics so what we have to do is i will just here search that is onboard onboard and graphics if you have this feature in your pc it will show or it will not show in your uh, device okay so what we will do is we will go to device manager again okay so you can see here i can see here some uh, display adapter that is uh, graphics card etc so i can see here so this is my graphics nvidia g4 gtx okay so what we have to do is we have to disable this okay it's my in external driver or external uh, device external graphics card so i will disable it for now and i will restart my pc so it will solve your problem okay so next is disable uh, dual monitor from bios disable cpu graphics multi monitor so what we have to do is while computer boots, uh, boots press f2 and delete okay you have to boot computer for this process so we will not do this uh, right now okay 
so six is connect your monitor with both cables to your computer and connect additional uh, monitor so what you have to do is this is a bit of unusual solution but uh, users have reported that it fixes the black screen before login problem okay according to users if you have a monitor with two connectors such as dvi and hdmi you need to connect your monitor using the dvi and hdmi cable okay and some users also suggest that you might be able to fix this issue by attaching an additional monitor okay so if you have an extra monitor try connecting it to your pc okay then next solution is update bios on windows 10 so what is bios you can see here changes change or one setting startup options okay so you have to restart here pc and you can just uh, restart your bios on windows 10 okay add this uninstall problematic applications so what we have to do is i will open my task manager what i will open my task manager and i will open the details tab i will open the details tab and what we have to do here is uh, run a new task what we have to do here is run a new task what we will do if uh, it's it's a problematic then i will click on end task and after that i will click on file and run a new task and i will click the file same i will put the name of that file and i will run the new task if you are going to uh, take the problem okay it will uh, solve your problem then next is change display brightness so how to change that so what we have to do is we have to press windows plus x key windows plus x okay so it will open this like that is we have to select and uh, or press windows x and type power options okay so i will click here power options i will click here power options so what we will do is we have to open the power options of control panel okay not this so uh, what i will do is i will simply open control panel and you can see here one of the option that is power options you can see here my power options is here and what we have to do here is after going to power options change plan settings so i will click on change plan settings and uh, next what we have to do is locate display brightness and save changes and restart uh, restart your pc okay you can set here the display brightness and save changes and restart your pc change advanced power setting restore plan defaults and oh, apply and okay okay so that will also solve your problem so next solution is disconnect your second monitor if you are using a second monitor then disconnect it it can be uh, the cause of the pro that problem second is display secondary output from device manager so how to do that i will right click on the device manager here and you can see here the device manager options i will right click on the device manager and open the device manager and find and explain uh, expand the display adapter section okay so you can see here the display adapter section i will double click on the display adapter section and click on the view okay so i can see here i we can view here uh, yeah or uh, we, you can uh, select the view tab here okay so you can see here show hidden devices so what we have to do is click on show hidden devices it will show your hidden devices and locate secondary output okay what we have to do is we have to locate here the secondary output here so you can see here there is no option like a secondary output but if you uh, if you don't find that output then uh, let's uh, don't worry so second is set display output to igfx okay so while your computer boots keep processing uh, f2 f4 or delete key to access bios okay and locate the display output setting and set it to igfx uh this will make your integrated graphics the first display okay and the next solution is connect your monitor using hdmi so it uh, we will not see this solution because we don't have the second monitor uh, monitor right now so we will find out the, our next solution that is disable enable dedicated card or from bios this was also the previous solution okay so last and uh, last but one solution is uh 
द डिसेबल फास्ट स्टार्टअप सो वॉट वी हैव टू डू इज फॉर दैट वी आई विल ओपन माई कंट्रोल पैनल I will right click on the control panel here, and what we have to do is again we have to go to power options here, okay? And after what we have to do is change plan settings, okay? Power option options and change plan setting, or we have to go to here the system settings. You can see here the system setting option. You can choose here the system setting from choose what the power buttons do. I will click on here. It will open my system settings of power options. Then what we have to do is, uh, if we turn on fast startup, uncheck the option. Okay, if you have open uh, that we checked the option that that is turn on fast startup, then uncheck this and click on the save changes and uh, cut out this window. So it will solve your problem again. So that's all for this video, guys. Thank you for the video. Hope you guys find your uh, solution of the problem. Thank you.